What's up, guys? Go check out Drain Maker on uh, Twitter or X, depending on where you want to say. Uh, sadly, all three of these matches are predictable. Like, they're all predictable. And that kind of makes a pay-per-view... Yes, these matches are going to be awesome. They're probably all going to be really... These three matches, for sure, are going to be all good matches. They're just so fucking predictable. It kind of takes away the fun of the pay-per-view also. Daniel Bryan versus Niall McGinnis. Daniel Bryan's for sure winning. Or Bryan Danielson. Why do I always keep calling him... I'm so used to calling him Daniel Bryan from WWE. I still call him that. Bryan Danielson is definitely winning this match. It's for sure happening. John Moxley definitely winning that match, which sucks because I want Darby Allen to win. But they're going to have John Moxley feud with Brian Danielson. So John Moxley's definitely winning the match. In the last match, Will Ospreay probably gets his first loss in this match because I have a feeling that the Young Bucks are still going to win the titles and it's going to be because Kyle Fletcher turned on Will Ospreay. That's more than likely what's going to happen. So all three guys on the Brian Danielson side are winning their matches. So it's almost predictable, and that kind of takes all the fun out of it. So there you go, your predictable matches for Grand Slam. Who do you guys got? Do you, do you think I'm wrong on any of these predictions? If you do, write it in the comment section. I may feature... Your comment in a future video. Bye, guys.